Community Season 4 Episode Number 7. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Community. This week, yes, we are only checking out one episode, mainly because I realize this episode, uh, this season has 13 episodes, and I don't want to end up having a point where I'm doing one episode from this season, one episode from the first episode. Uh, doing the first episode of next season in one video, if that makes sense. So we're gonna do one episode this week and we'll be on track to do uh, the rest of this season in double episodes and then we'll start next season with episodes one and two as opposed to having it split up. But nonetheless, man, last week, the two episodes we checked out, episodes five and six were fantastic, man. We had the Thanksgiving episode, which again, I'm pretty sure is the first Thanksgiving episode we had in the show. Maybe there was one other that I'm forgetting, but I think it was the first one, man, and it was a great one. You know, I loved it. We got into some deep shit with Jeff. Again, I always really enjoy when community goes into these kind of deeper messages like they did with that episode. And then we had the Chang Nisha documentary. I knew Kevin Chang, whatever you want to fucking refer to him as, was bullshitting the entire time. We saw it at the end of last episode. I think he is working with City College. I don't know who else who he, could, who he could be working with, and it would make a lot of sense if he was working with City College. Like I said last week, we ended season three with him in the vents at City College, so we'll have to wait and find out what happens. But guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video if you're a boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next four episodes if you guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. His name is Archie DeCoste, age 22, total years spent in high school, seven, SAT score, what? zero. Recently arrested for selling marijuana to a police officer at a police station. <laughs> I wasn't even undercover. Family net worth, $8 million. Ladies and ah. gentlemen, this is what we in the community college recruiting game call a whale. The mm. perfect mix of uh. low intellect, high lack of ambition, and limitless parental support. A cash cow. Is it like that endorsement deal you made with Let's potato chips? If you don't like the crispy, delicious taste of Let's, feel free to eat that <laughs> other greasy is... brand. Splingle, <laughs> not this guy. They're just doing the knockoffs instead of Lay's and Pringles. Here's Hawthorne has taken 80% of Greendale's classes more than twice. He's the only Greendale student who has ever paid for a premium locker or the extended pencil warranty. What? What is a pencil warranty and what the fuck is a premium locker? Dean said we could use some of the whale money for a new body farm. Mm. Who wants to help? I'm in. Body farm? You can count me in on this one. <laughs> You had me at no Pierce. Uh, He's been all over me lately to hang out. It's weird. You just want to be a part of something. Admit it. Thanksgiving softened that winger under Bowie. Uh, <laughs> uh, he said, don't touch Jeff, please. <laughs> hey, let's do that. You know damn. what the commercial says. Keep your damn hands off my let's. Uh, to be fair, that's a decent commercial, man. Oh, interesting. New character coming into play here. Pierce is definitely going to be here. To be fair, Pierce has been going here for 12 years, he said. Right? You're looking a little stubbly, and nobody handles a razor like an Italian. They develop nimble fingers from pleasing their mistresses. Thank you for opening my <laughs> eyes to two new stereotypes. Now, how can I put this? No. Way to put it lightly. Hey there, Dean. Just thought we'd pop in and check on the big whale hunt. Ah. What a day we have planned for young Bro, Archie. Bro, what is with Library these school tour, board members? Calculator lab demonstration. And it all culminates in the spirit of Greendale reception. Magnitude is a soft yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Magnitude, pop, pop. You gotta think big. Hookers, blow. Right. Hookers. <laughs> He's been mixing. Greendale stands on its own. No hookers, no blow, no Sean White frat. College dean threatening a fraternity. You'll never shut down the Delta Cubes. Eh, it's the storyline. He's going to be the leader of the frat. Cruise by Skeebers Express for a refill. Oh, I'm sick of that motion. Dude, what time is it? Is it like, it, I feel like it's like one o'clock in the show. How are they this, t like, toasted? I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? You put me on your team, right? Right. Oh. But also wrong. PE's about survival of the fittest. Damn. Line up, class. Oh my God, the shorts. <laughs> it's like the shorts from the pool episode. When Jeff was playing pool. It started as a typo, but it's grown into one of Greendale's most successful programs. Physical Anyone education, education. Me. I teach my student coaches 
to teach PE. Wow. <laughs> Something funny, Coach Barnes? No, I was just I'm teaching us how to be gym teachers. A student is choking on a plastic golf ball. What do you do? I it's How timely. many orange cones does it take to line a regulation soccer field? What if students are talking during stretches? It, uh, when, when my kids talk past bedtime, I, I use my angry voice and I say, the next peep I hear will be the last, and I give them one of these. Eh. Not bad, Coach Benny. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to end up doing good in this class. Troy's going to do bad. Damn, dude. What is that, man? Physical education, education. Hey, you know, it's Greendale, so I'm not surprised. I told you we're not doing the fraternity idea. The Delta Cubes will never die. We've only just begun to fight. The Delta Cubes. What are you guys all oh, doing? No. Oh, no. Pierce will ruin everything. What's an Archie? Why does he get a banner? What's an Archie? Jeff, do something. He's going to have to go get a haircut. Oh. Annie oh. with those eyes. <laughs> I thought you were going to cancel our plans. Plans? To spend the entire day together away from everyone else. <laughs> oh yeah, those plans. <laughs> please enroll in our school, please. please. <laughs> oh, nice scooter, Archie. Yeah, City College gave it to me as a present. City College. Mm -hmm. Competition. So, Archie, have you heard about our half pipes and hash pipes class taught by Professor Sean White? What? Damn. Yeah, let me tell you about it in our <laughs> Mountain Dew Cool Zone tent. Yeah. <laughs> right, Mountain Dew on it, make it cool. <laughs> He's gonna have to feed into it, bro. He's gonna have some blow set up, all this stuff, dude. He don't give a fuck no more. I think Abed's gonna save the day with his fake frat. Britta, where do we get drugs? Really? <laughs> Look who stumbled onto the high road. This is <laughs> the <first> road. <laughs> well, City College slipped that slope when they slipped in that scooter, but they sure slipped up when they let him set foot on our soil. It's a lot of slipping. In this next drill, our two best student coaches will split the rest of the class. Troy's gonna be picked last. You're one decision away from victory or defeat. He pointed at Troy when he said oh, defeat. Coach. Marzak. Oh. Well picked, Coach Damn. Bennett. Your team wins. <laughs> they just win for that? That's messed up. Who, basically, whoever didn't have Troy. There's something about a breast that's never been touched by white hands. Eh. You are a complicated man. Silvio, spin up lucky number Where will this hell end? I was going to say, you think he's actually texting somebody? Because he said before on the Thanksgiving episode, he's not really even texting anyone. I want that. You heard him, Annie. Bling the king. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. Cubes. Oh my gosh. What is this? Tell me why I've been shaving my own face all these years like a sucker. <laughs> Jeff is actually bonding with Pierce, man. He tried something new and he liked it. Drama students will play the role of okay, PE Neil. students. And each of you will oversee them in a mocker room setting. My character just had her first period. Uh, Mine has eczema. Uh, crisis alert! Uh, uh, keep your hands to yourself. Running will get you five laps, mister. Joey, I will come in that shower and kick your bare ass. <laughs> That's a mother. No, no, no time to pre-party. You and the girls get in position and wait for my signal. Did he really call strippers? <laughs> it's good for the school. <laughs> good for the school. The whale is here. Balloon drop, go! The whale is here. Eh. <laughs> uh, Release the horse. <laughs> the release the horse. What the fuck? Dude, what is going on? This is Greendale, man. If you're so proud, why don't you gay marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is turning into him. I can't control these drama students or the characters. Damn. No! No! He is the Bible of the Troy. No! That's what she told him. She wants to help, man, but shah, it's She's giving Troy a taste of his own medicine. Need more time. Keep Pierce busy. Damn. Keep me busy? You know how you get jealous. So that's why you spent the day with me. Through the short straw. Well, that's how it started, but I really did end up having a good time. Yeah, I used to regret not having a son to bring here. I'm glad I didn't have kids. They just end up disappointing you. Damn. Where did they get the wine? Bro, this this, this barbershop is actually fire. Pop, 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 pop. I want that to be my thing now. Oh. I don't think you can do that. That's where we draw the line. You're not to say pop, pop ever again. Uh, not pop? That's right. Find a new thing. You can take my necklace, you can take my hat, but you can't take my identity. Dude, you can only go on for so long like that, man. Don't talk about Pierce like that. 
Look, maybe the only reason he can be so unpleasant is because we expect him to be. If we don't treat him like such a dick, well, he'll probably still be one 98% of the time, but the 2% he's tolerable, it might be worth it. Bro, did his beard come back in between those shots? I need to go back. I swear it did. I've been up uh, all night trying out new catchphrases. Not in my backyard. Did he do? All burns out. Burns notice. I'm going to help you learn to teach the most unteachable student there is. Oh my god. Teachers teaching to teach. Dude, Chang, in the fact that we know he's playing this role. Dude. Well done, Coach Barnes. You as well, Coach Bennett. You know, I was supposed to teach you two to teach other people, but instead, you ended up teaching me. <laughs> now, I'm a man of very little integrity, and I let students get away with practically anything <laughs> on this campus. But I will not allow Greendale to lose the things that make it Greendale. Everybody kisses my ass because my dad is loaded. And they always give me free stuff, like that jet ski I sunk. But it would be pretty Damn. sweet to be treated like a normal dude. <laughs> so I'm in. Sometimes that's all they want. They just got to stand up, you know what I mean? Not be a yes man. He created don't, a monster don't, though. Delta Cubes, Operation Slack Attack. Slack Attack. Delta fucking cubes, man. Is the seat taken? Free country. Eh, he's so mad, dude. The way free country. <laughs> There's something about a country club waitress that just makes you pour a beer dudes every year. <laughs> man, there's something about a good barber shop you can't Let's find anywhere else. Up. Oh my gosh. Right. The potato chip commercial. Honestly, after all that, you still eat Splingles. Uh, yeah, Troy. Splingles have 30% less fat. They're the fit chip. Hmm. You know, I kind of have a headache. Maybe you should go home. <laughs> he said, get the hell out of my house. Dude, their relationship is so funny, man. They, they, they work together, you know what I mean? Because Troy... I, I don't know. They're both just really understanding. They started out as friends. Like, them two, I would have never thought they would have ended up in a relationship, but they work in a relationship, if you know what I mean. Community Season 4, Episode 7 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. It's just funny. Like, again, the start of the show, Episode 1, was literally just Jeff trying to sleep with Britta. And now it has evolved into this. It's just crazy because it's like, you never know where life is going to take you. And that, that, that's the fantastic thing about it, man. But... Fantastic episode. I absolutely loved it. E E E. Physical education, education. It makes sense because it's Greendale, so I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised, right? Like, we have never seen, like, I know back in what was it, season one, they had the football team at Greendale, but besides that, we never saw a PE class. I think during one of the season one episodes when Britta went, uh, got in trouble for cheating or whatever, and they had the uh, court episode. There was the swimming pool and stuff inside Greendale too that we saw. So I'm assuming that was a PE class, but we never had a PE class, PE class. So it's kind of cool to see that, man. It was great. Pierce and Jeff bonding a little bit more. Again, like watching this, I enjoy it, but like I can't help but just sit and think about all the shit that was going on on set because you guys tell me in the comments all the time, like seasons four, five, and six. It was just hell on set, man. You know what I mean? For the actors and everybody involved, you know, the writers, the creator, Chevy Chase was a pro like, and it's so sad to think about that as I'm watching the show, because it's like, dude, these characters, they all love each other, man. And they're so cool together. And they became like a little family. But to think that like the actual actors playing them, what was going on on set, you know, how many outtakes we had, how many problems there probably was and stuff like that. It, it sucks to think about, man, but regardless, it doesn't change how much I'm loving this show. You know, people said season four was rough and then season five is worse and six and just it, it gets worse and worse. But honestly, I'm loving season four so far. The Halloween episode was one of my favorites. This episode was really good. The past two episodes were really good. You know, the Changnesia documentary. And I, I, I think we're still going strong. But again, we only have 13 episodes in these next few seasons. So we're over the halfway point here. Like I said, this week we were just doing one episode because I don't want to have it fall where I'm doing the season finale and the season premiere in one video so 
next week we will be back to two episodes but fantastic stuff guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys did enjoy this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to the next four episodes you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.